Premiering in 30 minutes, the new comedy series, Easy Street, starring Lonnie Anderson on CKY. Tonight, a young man from British Columbia goes on a rescue mission with the Coast Guard. An executive secretary from Ontario makes her own music video. And Thrill of a Lifetime reunites a New Brunswick father with the two sons he hasn't seen in over 30 years. Now, in our sixth season, come share the thrill. The thrill of a lifetime. The thrill of a lifetime. Thank you and good evening. Welcome to Thrill of a Lifetime. I'm Doug Paulson, and I have my own personal thrill this evening, which I trust you will take on as your own thrill week after week, because I have a delightful new co-host, whom you may recall from the CTV series Just Kidding, the vivacious and most charming Cheryl Wilson. You haven't said a word yet. There they are, just all clapping wildly. Mm -hmm. I think it's amazing what applause signs will do. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> you know, Cheryl, I think we should be quite candid right off the top that the two of us have not just met. No. And not two weeks ago when you joined the show either. We've known one another for some time. That's right. We met for the first time a few years ago in Winnipeg and then again in Moncton doing charity telethons. Well, there you have it, folks. Your first thrill of a lifetime reunion, Doug Paulson and Cheryl Wilson, who haven't seen each other since their last telethon. Well, I think that's sweet, Doug, but I think that the reunions on Thrill have to be a little more earth-shattering than that. You know, and the one you're going to see at the end of tonight's show will certainly be that. Can you imagine, Cheryl, not seeing your own children for three decades? Oh, well, when I used to act up as a child, I think my parents probably wished that that could happen to them. <laughs> well, you know, there may not be a dry eye in Canada when we reunite George Stride of St. John, New Brunswick, with his two sons from North Wales. And there may not be a non-jealous eye in Canada when we see Kelly Forsyth put together her own music video. But first, the thrill of Ted Worrell, a young man in his early 20s from the interior of British Columbia, Prince George to be exact, who gets to go about as exterior as you can get. Namely, on a Coast Guard hovercraft, but Thrill went one better and sent him on a search and rescue mission off the shores of Vancouver. If you want a dictionary definition of what a Thrill person looks like, just watch the face and reactions of Ted Worrell as we take him on his great adventure. The Coast Guard hovercraft unit is an important link in the search and rescue organization on our west coast. Ted Worrell is a believer. Everything about these air-cushioned vehicles intrigues him, especially their combination of space-age looks and modern technology. Not to mention, of course, their incredible maneuverability. What really fascinates me about the hovercraft is uh, the fact that it, it, it's not limited to either land or water. It can go land or water or swamp or any, it can go just about anywhere. And that's just what it's going to do, Ted. But tomorrow, you'll be on board. But first, you have to rest up for your big adventure at one of Vancouver's premier hotels. Ted's dream is getting closer by the second. My thrill of a lifetime would be to ride in a Coast Guard hovercraft. I've seen this machine on television many times, and, and I can hardly wait. I close my eyes, and here I am. Keep your eyes open, Ted, because you're going to be one of the first civilians to take part in the hovercraft unit's training programs involving search and rescue exercises. It's here that Thrill introduces Ted to hovercraft captain Rod Wiseman. Hello, Ted. Pleased to meet you. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Coast Guard hovercraft unit. This is the operations room, as you can see, and this is where we stand by to answer our search and rescue calls and whatever else. Oh, there's a call now. Hovercraft Wiseman. Meadowet, Point Grey, someone falling down the cliff. Okay, we'll be on our way. Is it? Yes, got your chance right away. Let's go. Great. Ted's as pumped up as the hovercraft. When 
you're sitting next to the captain, what do you do? Ask questions, of course. Play with the sneaker car you're holding? Yes, okay. You saw me using the skirt lift then in that turn to make sure it was a safe turn. Do you see much rough weather, uh, high seas? Oh, yeah, it gets pretty bad, um, especially in the fall and the winter. As the hovercraft speeds towards its destination, Ted is outfitted by the search and rescue specialists. Now he's really a member of this elite team of professionals. Everything's set and ready to go, and Ted is right there alongside them. Next begins the steep climb up the ridge, and Ted soon discovers there are a lot of skills needed on such a mission. This is an exercise. No one's actually hurt, but Ted feels the urgency because the team takes it seriously. They know the real thing could happen at any time. Close the edge. In what seems like no time at all, the casualty is firmly secured and carefully lowered down the hill. For Ted, being a part of this team is an incredible experience. These people here, professionals all the way, I've never seen such great, I mean, if my life was in danger, I trust these guys all the way. I mean, they're, they're great. With a mighty whoosh, the amazing machine is off again. The hovercraft is extremely smooth uh, riding. You, you've never experienced such a smooth ride in your life. Uh, you can go sideways, backwards. Uh, you're out in the open. You don't have to worry about hitting anything. It's just incredible. And now the biggest thrill of all. Hey, Ted, do you want to try the controls? Love to. Under Captain Wiseman's supervision, Ted experiences, if only for a short while, the exhilaration of being at the controls of one of these incredibly sophisticated machines. Take it away, Ted. Ted returns to the passenger seat thrilled that his dream wish of flying one of these machines has come true. It's mission at an end. The craft effortlessly glides into the home base at the Vancouver International Airport and with a majestic sweep, swings itself into a parking position before expelling its cushion of air. Meanwhile, Ted is still working and he's clearly done a great job because the patient has made a marvelous recovery. Well done, Ted. Glad to have you aboard. Thanks. for the Coast Guard for doing such a good job and uh, we think you'd be a good hovercraft crewman. On behalf of the hovercraft unit of the Coast Guard, we'd like to present you with this plaque. Congratulations. Our producers told us that Ted was extremely nervous during his thrill but kept going like a real trooper. And now we're about to leap from searching and rescuing in the wilds of BC to taping and editing in the wild studios of Ontario. We'll be right back. I got a feeling that quicker to we by feeling tastes so good deep down inside. Bay Boy, CTV's Monday Night Movie.
anyone who hasn't been asleep since 1980 must know, music videos have become one of the most important forms of entertainment of our time. It seems that you can't have a hit album nowadays without at least one or two videos made of those songs. Kelly Forsyth, a 20-year-old executive secretary from Dundas, Ontario, doesn't have a hit record to plug. But when she wrote to Thrill of a Lifetime requesting that she be able to put together her own music video, we thought it was a great idea. And so, Bruce Springsteen, Brian Adams, and Anne Murray eat your hearts out. Here comes <laughs> Kelly Forsyth. Kelly Forsyth from Dundas, Ontario, is a girl with a song in her heart for someone special. But how do you get the song in your heart to center stage? Well, if you're like Kelly, you write to Thrill of a Lifetime for our help to put it all together. She had a song, a script, and a vision from the beginning. Wow. With this script that I wrote, I knew exactly what I wanted as far as scenery, as far as movement and blocking, as far as uh, dialogue. As far as the song went, it was all in my mind and it was just a matter of putting it down on paper and sending it into you people. So with the helping hands at Glen Warren Productions, we brought her into the studio for her writing, acting and directing debut on national television. And here she is. No time to sit now, Kelly. You're about to become a new TV personality. She was surrounded by the best the industry had to offer and took charge like an old pro. The smoke machine's ready and... Okay. Uh, How about the lamppost? Is that strong enough for me to be up. able... No yeah, problem. I'm going to be able to lean on it? No problem. Okay. No, I'll catch you if it falls. Okay, good. <laughs> Can you just pan a little more to the left? A lighting adjustment. And you're in good hands, Kelly. What I'm trying to achieve is... That's Emmy Award winner Arnie Smith lighting up your life. What we had to do is we had to move the lamppost a little more into the shot, so I had to take the lighting, the dressing, and pan a little bit to the left. Kelly wants more of the action and gets behind the camera to check her shot. Um, I'm not getting yet. this one. No? Uh, oh, there uh, we go. Uh, there's the next one here. It's moving, uh, moving all three. Kelly was amazed at how much there was to know. That's too much for me. Now Kelly's really grabbing hold of the situation. Okay, That's Bob McBride, an award-winning musician. All right, so what we're going to have, the camera's going to be over here. Right. You're going to put your hands on my shoulders. I'll do a little touch like this. I won't cross my eyes. Okay, <laughs> and I won't stick out my tongue. <laughs> okay. Right. okay. Terrific. Okay, good. All right. We're ready to roll. Everyone's in place. Very Lights. Sorry, camera. Market. Action! Whoops! Everybody's eager on this set. It's been a long day. Kelly's giddy. Take two. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've held that all day. That was too much. There'll be half a dozen takes, but Kelly wants perfection. More than you know. More than you know. Performance isn't over yet. Back to work for the final stage, the editing room. Yeah, look at these tracks in the sink, right? Would you mind showing me the length of dissolves sure. and okay. stuff like that? That's what a three-second dissolve looks like right okay. there. Okay. Can we do another one? With masterful technicians, Kelly taps into the studio's state-of-the-art technology and takes apart the day's work frame by frame. Everything is coming together. The recording, the picture, and it's all framed by her lovely smile. Kelly seems pleased. And now, the masterpiece. I love you, sunshine, but I gotta go.
Now that is a thrill. <laughs> and speaking of thrills, what's yours? We'd love to know. So drop us a line enclosing a photo which we can keep and mail it to Thrill of a Lifetime, Box 9, Station O, Toronto, Ontario, M4A2M9. We can't answer them all, but we'll try our best to make your Thrill of a Lifetime come true. Such as the one coming up. You're looking at the reasons why we at Catelli care the way we do. Why our Catelli Old Fashioned Spaghetti Sauces all carry a 100% guarantee. And why we use only fresh carrots, onions, and celery. It's the knowledge that only the freshest and most natural tasting sauces will make our family a part of yours. Catelli, we care to be a part of your family. Should all handicapped kids be allowed to attend their neighborhood school? Teachers are willing and ready to, to accept the challenge, provided that they are given appropriate supports. Integration. Is it a human rights issue? With school taxes already high, is it a matter of money? I'm Linda Fabian. Monday and Tuesday at 6 during CKY News, we examine where we are with integration in Winnipeg and pressures on the system. Join us. Mm -hmm. Any snacks around here? No pretzels, cookies, candy or something? Here, Adam. Try some of these. Mmm. What do you call them? Grapes. A fresh snack. They're nice and bite-sized. Sweet and juicy, too. <laughs> Got any more? Sure, but this is tempting. Try it. Eve, I think I'll stick with grapes. Every serious fishing expedition starts with the right stuff. My kids start at the refrigerator. Maple Leaf Cold Cuts. Always reasonably priced. Always fresh and delicately seasoned. Enough hearty variety so they can pile them high for a delicious lunch. That's important, too, when you're off to tempt Uncle Jack into going fishing early, early in the morning. parts of our program is the reunion, when we bring together friends, even close family members after years apart. Many of us have loved ones that we haven't seen for a long, long time. But rarely do we encounter a reunion as moving as the one to follow. George Stride married his first wife in England during the war and took her back to live in Newfoundland. While he was at sea, she took their two sons and moved to Wales, where they long since lost contact. George eventually established telephone contact with his two Welsh sons, but they were never able to see one another. Not until Thrill of a Lifetime heard from his stepson, Garfield Whitaker of Halifax, who gave us a wonderful idea and an even more wonderful thrill for George Stride, his second wife, his stepson, and those two long-lost sons from North Wales. So, very recently, after 23 hours of travel, all the way from the tiny town of Hollyhead, North Wales, two young men arrived in St. John, New Brunswick for a tearful reunion with a stepmother and a father that they never really knew. It's business as usual here in the busy harbor at St. John, New Brunswick today. And for any marine enthusiast, the best view is from the terrace of the Hilton Hotel. But these three men aren't thinking about the ships. Roy Stride and his brother Bramwell Stride have come all the way from Hollyhead, North Wales to join their stepbrother Garfield Whitaker of Halifax, Nova Scotia. It was Garfield who told us all about their father, George Stride, a corps de commissionaire security guard at the local newspaper. George hasn't seen his two sons, Roy and Bramwell, since he left for sea with the Royal Navy 30 years ago. My one big memory of my father was when I was five years old. And he was standing in the hallway of our house at Hollyhead in his uniform. And I haven't seen him since. Well, I imagine him to be a big fella, but I've been told he's only little. <laughs> and well, he's on the phone. He's he uh, sounds very, very nice and gentle. And from the letters, there's a lot of caring in the letters. 
George thinks he's off work today to take part in a documentary on the Corps, an organization that hires World War II vets. We spoke with George and his wife, Alice. I've been with the Corps for roughly around four and a half years. And before you joined them, uh, what kind of... Before I joined the Corps, I, uh, I was a bricklayer. As George recounts moments from his days in the service, the boys are across town, preparing to complete a surprise that will end years of longing for George. Okay, let's roll. Let's go. They're on their way. But earlier, they had a chance to reflect on 30 years without Dad. One Sunday, I'd been out working, and um, the wife said to me, um, we've had a phone call this afternoon from Canada. I says, gosh, from Canada. She said, yes, it's your father. He's been on the phone. So, <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I did, didn't hit me at, at the time. I thought, well, how's he found this sort of thing? And she said, I don't really know, but he's ringing back anyway. And I remember later that evening, he, he rang back. And I thought of, I'd been thinking of what I was going to say to him, you know. I remember sitting in the house for about two or three hours, thinking of what I was going to say, and then when he, he did finally ring, I was completely lost for words. <laughs> I, could, uh, I just couldn't think what to say, sort of thing, you know. It's, it's, I had so many things to say to him, you know. Was well, he knew for me at that time? You know, to either join the Royal Navy or we could come across to Canada and join the Canadian if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. A lot of us just joined right there. Young, you wanted to get out, you know, yeah. see the world. For years, uh, I was quite unhappy about not knowing whether he was still alive um, or whether he cared for us. I, I think that was the biggest thing. In a few minutes, you'll find out just how much you have been missed. I started off in the Royal Navy. Yeah. And uh, that was in 1940. What do you think you're going to say when you first see Dad? Hi, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Think that'll be it? Well, I think so. I think there's going to be so many tears. I think uh, it'll be pretty choked up, yeah. you know? And Garfield prepared us for his very emotional mom. Well, I'm a very emotional person. Uh, she cries at the drop of a hat if she sees a, a television movie. She'll cry if she's walking down the street and see a, <laughs> anything. She's, she's just emotional. And, uh, she's going to be crying and maybe pass it out. I think I'm going to have to go to the drugstore and get some uh, smelling salt or something this, uh, this afternoon, I, I'm sure of it. Uh, since the Did you ever go back to England to visit? You must have made friends over there. No, not to... Uh, not since I've been out of the service. This is the spot. Do you have people, like, you know, from your service days that you write to, or...? Oh, yes. Uh, I have friends, friends over there in England, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. They're in, uh, in Wales. Oh, yeah. All they had, North Wales. George and Alice, I have a, I have a confession for you. Yeah. We're uh, not who you think we are, and there's someone here to, to talk to you. You'll recognize son Garfield from Halifax, of course, but he's brought some very special guests along. Oh, my God! And we'll line you all up. After a 30-year separation, the Stride family portrait is long overdue. Well, it, it, uh, it, mean that, uh, I, I, I really can't explain this, uh, how much it does mean to me. It means everything. Kibbles and bits, kibbles and bits, kibbles.
kibbles and bits and bits and bits. Kibbles and bits and bits and bits. I'm gonna get some kibbles and bits. Kibbles and bits. Kibbles and bits. Kibbles and bits and bits and bits. Two kibbles and bits and bits and bits. With both crunchy kibbly bits and tender chewy bits. It's the four in one dog food. Kibbles and bits and bits and bits. We want some more kibbles and bits. Kibbles and bits and bits and bits. Now in Canada, the best tasting dry dog food you can buy. To be this confident this close, you can't have simple chronic halitosis, our name for recurring bad breath not due to illness. Zinc chloride is proven to neutralize it. Zinc chloride, one of the active ingredients in Lavoris. Use Lavoris. Be this confident this close. Millions who've watched the Topol Smokers Test began to use Topol and saw how brushing twice a day with Topol helps get teeth cleaner and whiter. So keep Topol on your toothbrush and you can keep your handkerchief in your pocket. Topol. Use it every day. Super Cobbett. Coach Maloney, what about your goaltending? Who do you see playing the right side? Are there going to be any changes on defense? Hold it, guys. Let's wait till Wednesday night and get all the answers with the Winnipeg Jets on CKY. From personnel changes to team strategy, you'll find out the latest on the Jets. Join us for your chance to talk to the players and look at our plans. Plus, you'll have the opportunity to purchase a CKY jet pack, an exclusive ticket package of five games available only if you join us on Wednesday night. The Jets on CKY. You'll get the answer at the same time as these guys. Guess what coffee they serve at tea? 100% Colombian coffee, hand-picked by Juan Valdez. seven days for our weekly reunion with one another. When we'll have more thrills to share with all of you. Remember, our only limit is your imagination. Tell us your thrill and we'll try our best to make it happen. I've just had my thrill to join Doug Paulson on this show. Oh, Cheryl, you said the biggest thrill in the See you next week on, on Thrill of a Lifetime. Life. Coming up next on CT. Tuesday at 7, Theo falls for an older woman on The Cosby Show. Then at 8.30, Tom Mason and Shelley Hack team up for Jack and Mike. A special 90-minute debut on CKY. In Toronto, guests of Thrill of a Lifetime stay at the Ramada Renaissance, a very out-of-the-ordinary luxury hotel featuring non-luxury prices. Cars for Thrill of a Lifetime supplied by Tilden, the only Canadian name in worldwide rentals. Tilden features cars by Chrysler, like the Reliant. Dole, for superior quality and unsurpassed taste. So insist on everyone's first choice, the natural goodness of Dole pineapple, pineapple juice, and fruit cocktail. Burger King invites you to celebrate real chicken fillets with the Chicken Tenders Meal Combo. Now's the time to get five all-white meat chicken tenders, large fries, and a regular soft drink for a very special $2.99. Ain't nothing like the real thing. The Chicken Tenders Meal Combo, now just $2.99 at Burger King. It'd be a shame to miss it. Sears Days is on now, and you can snap up some incredible savings and values, like this PowerMate vacuum. Now $130 off. Save up to $40 per pair on Guardsman 2 all-season radials. Women's casual slip-ons are $10 off. And these Aaliyah separates are 25% off. During this, the final week of Sears Days, on till this Saturday. At Sears, you get your money's worth and more. Tom Mason and Shelley Hack team up for Jack and Mike, a special 90-minute debut Tuesday at 8.30 on CKY.